Throughout the quarter, ground test instrument units were assembled and tested. Assembly of the breadboard test unit was near completion with delivery to Marshall's system development facility due in early December. Assembly of the flight system's IU was near completion by the end of November. The three checkout trailers used to check out the flight system's IU were delivered to Marshall by IBM Huntsville in September. The checkout equipment covering telemetry, radio frequency, and a digital data acquisition system is mounted in trailers so it can later be sent to Douglas Aircraft in California to monitor flight simulation tests. Structural assembly of the first flight instrument unit, SIU-501, began in late November at IBM Huntsville. Component assembly is scheduled to start in mid-January 1966. The second structural test IU assembled by IBM Huntsville using segments manufactured by North American Aviation was completed in early October and moved to MSFC for structural testing scheduled for December. At Wiley Labs Huntsville facility, high intensity reverberation test chamber, acoustic vibration testing of the vibration test IU was successfully conducted in mid-November. The tremendous noise levels produced by the Saturn V first stage engines were simulated by a pneumatic sound source producing sound pressure levels up to just above 150 decibels over a 25 to 10,000 cycle per second frequency range. At the Marshall Center, Dynamic testing of the S-4BD dynamic test stage in conjunction with the dynamic test instrument unit and an Apollo spacecraft was successfully completed during the report period. At Marshall's Mississippi Test Facility, activation efforts on the first S-2 static test stand designated A-2 were directed early this quarter to priority items to prepare the stand for installation of the S-2T all system stage delivered by S&ID. Beneficial occupancy of the stand was accepted on October 1st. On October 19th, the S2T was installed in the stand by S&ID and support personnel. The S2T, to be used for checkout of facility systems, ground support equipment, and the stage itself, will be the first vehicle test fired at MTF in early 1966. Work on the second S2 stand, designated A1, progressed steadily during the quarter. Concrete work on the service core and front vents is complete, and steel erection below the flame deflector was started. At the S1C stand, MTF's other principal test element, overall progress is on schedule. Concrete work on the center and east pier is finished, and installation of steel for the flame deflector and engine removal platform is well underway. Concrete work on the west pier is complete through the sixth floor level. In summary, September, October, and November 1965 were months of continuing progress along a broad front with achievements such as the first S1C static firing using automatic checkout equipment, completion of assembly of the first S1C flight stage, delivery of the first Mishu produced S1C, the dynamic test stage, completion of assembly of the S2 all systems test stage, and its delivery to Mississippi Test Facility for static firing, successful testing of the S-4B dynamic test stage and dynamic test IU, successful acoustic testing of the vibration test IU, improvement of F-1 engine production techniques, and initiation of J-2 engine qualification testing.